Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to work the gluteus maximus and the gluteus medius from the floor with nothing more than your body weight and either a yoga mat or some kind of soft surface. You may want to be on carpet to pad your elbow. That's all you're going to need. Stay tuned to the end and I'll tell you why you actually want a, a better butt more than just for your skinny. We all need strong glutes. Here's one exercise that is unsuspecting. You may not think of this one, but we're gonna get right into it. So if you have any trouble with your shoulder supporting upper body work, this one, pass right on by and flip to another one. But what I'd love for you to do, if you can, you know who you are. You bring that elbow in just a little bit too close for comfort to set this up. You are going to do just a little bit of flexion here at your hip, but not a lot. You're not up here. You are just down here, almost, but not quite in alignment. So you're holding here. Now, as we come up, this should be in alignment. So it feels too close for comfort right now. Next up, support yourself a little bit. For the first couple of times, it's important to see how's my shoulder doing today? Is my alignment really good? Am I really holding on? So watch this. We're gonna come up. That is a little glute work, believe it or not. Now, we're working the top and the bottom glutes both, but not yet with this top one. You can see it's going along for the ride right now. Watch this. Now we're gonna open back in what we call a clam. You may have done that if you've ever had to do physical therapy or you tried to prevent it. So notice that I'm just coming up, my knee top stacks on top of the bottom, my feet relatively stay close together. That's kind of acting as my hinge, right? So we're using the glute on the top, but the one on the bottom on vacation. Here we're gonna fix that. We're gonna put the two moves together. So watch how this happens. One and down. So I'm trying to come up as high as I possibly can here, but I'm also trying to open back without rolling back. So pull. So we come up, power up and clam. I want you to do six more with me and just pay attention to how it feels for you. And down. Good. Power up. Good. And power. Nice work. 30 more for me. One. Done. Two. And done. And one more, now to be fair, we're gonna move you to the other side. I don't want you to pay attention to any weakness. What happens is we have gluteus maximus, that's the big cheek in the back, right? And then we have gluteus medius, and of course there is a minimus. It actually is working when either of these other two are. So we really focus on maximus and or minimus. For women in midlife, the minimus is really problematic, okay? However, the maximus is what often we want to work on because it gives us a little rounder butt and many of us feel like we're in a pancake situation where the butt is floating to the feet. Anybody? We'll address that in a minute, but I want you to come up again and try it. Let's try them separately. Push, because it will give this shoulder a little warm up. Good, nice. Check in again here. So the crease of your hip is hinging forward just a little bit. Now try here and down and here and down. Let's put it together. So we come up and if you are at all worried about the shoulder, spot yourself down here with this hand, okay? So we don't want to be focusing on the glutes at the cost of anything else, okay? So power up, good. And really work on opening that back but not rolling back. Great job, do five more with me here. One, really push off the floor. Two, you want both hips open as much as possible. Good, two to go, and one. Now if I were gonna do sets of these, here's how it would go. I would work on sets of 10 to 12. So shoot for 12, let's say we do three sets. Now you may want to give it a day, just doing one set, see how your shoulders feel. If you know yourself, and you're just a little, I need to be cautious because I get hurt easily, do that. Then when you get started, you're in a roll, feels good, you're just fine. I want you to shoot for about 12 repetitions, three different sets. To do that, I would go one side and the other side and one side and the other side, back and forth so that you give your shoulders a little bit of break on either side. So what you're doing is, you're working the glute maximus on one side a little bit more, the glute minimus on the other side a little bit more, so, or medius, I, I'm sorry. So as you come up and when you open, you work on your medius, the top leg. Coming from the floor, 
you're pushing through your maximus. So we're working on both muscles with one exercise, just flip flopping it back and forth. I'll be back with how to build a better butt, but here's why you want to do it. You want a better butt is not just vanity. So here's what a better butt can help you do. Number one, it can help you reduce your risk of back pain. And number two, it can help you reduce your risk of knee strain and or pain. What? Yeah, exactly. So many of us think immediately, but very related to your lower back and or to hip issues like hip bursitis, common injuries like that. But don't think so much about the knee, but both are true. And if you're shooting for, I love a, love a flatter belly, you want to be able to do things where you can go faster and or you can lift more weight, but you've got to be able to do it safely. Hip strength and hip mobility and stability. Mobility is flexibility. How much range of motion do you have? Stability means a marriage of strength and mobility. Exercises like this that you may think, oh, I actually need to be in the gym and I need to be doing strength with squats and with lunges. Yes, and you also want to be doing some of these little things in your warm up and or in your cool down or even on your days off. Here's how I recommend you do these exercises. They are a part of what I call the better butt system and there are the starters. Here's where you begin to wake up the muscles in your glutes. We call that gluteal amnesia if you've got it. And here's better butt, what you do next if you can already do all of those fairly easily and then how you're incorporating them in your workout. If you're already strength training, don't stop. You can do that, but you also may wanna go back and give your glutes a wake up because they may not be working as hard for you as they need to. Three muscles that we talk about are the gluteus maximus, the gluteus medius, and the gluteus minimus. And notice I talked today about the minimus. It's firing whenever the maximus is and whatever the medius is. So we don't have to really talk about it in an isolated way, but your medius, standing on one leg, doing exercises like the clam and combining these two tells your brain this is intelligent because when I do a squat or sit and stand from a chair, I'm incorporating that. Make sure that you subscribe and as we add more of the Better Butt series, you will see them all. I'd love to know, did you do it? How'd it feel? Any problems?